After conquering the Earth as the richest man on the planet, Elon Musk wants to have the dominion over other worlds too. Musk has been urging mankind to think about settling on Mars before Earth is destroyed, and the recent volcanic eruption in Tonga might play a huge role in making people believe how important it is to leave Earth and become an interplanetary species. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Elon Musk Evolution, where we will tell you all the latest news about Elon Musk and his multi-billion dollar companies. In today's video, we are going to talk about the recent volcanic eruption in Tonga, and how it will help Elon Musk to fulfill his dream of Mars colonization. If you want to find out more, then stay with us until the end of the video. Also, before we start the video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos. And let's get started. The SpaceX CEO Elon Musk is preparing to build a city on Mars very soon because he strongly believes that humans need to go interstellar before it's too late. This time, the CEO went into a bit more detail about the timelines and vehicle requirements to not only reach Mars, but to set up a sustainable base on the Red Planet that can serve as an actual city, supporting a local population. Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk is very confident about Mars colonization, and according to him, humans will land on Mars by 2026. The idea of setting up colonies on Mars has received interest from all corners as space scientists and experts are investigating all possibilities with several Mars missions. So why is Musk planning to build a city on Mars? Since the year 1975, the only things making their way to planet Mars are rockets and satellites. But now, Musk and his companies are moving forward to change that. After one of his rockets took four astronauts into space successfully in April, Musk stated, We don't want to be one of those single-planet species. We want to be a multi-planet species. In an interview with Kara Swisher at the Code Conference 2021, Musk revealed his space plans, which included a self-sustaining city on Mars and a base on the moon for those who want to go there. Swisher asked Musk if he would like to go to space himself, and he said that he would like to one day, but his goal is to not send himself. His goal is to open up space for humanity and ultimately set humans on a path to become a spacefaring civilization. Musk has sketched out his grand vision in various interviews and public appearances over the years. It is the driving force behind the underdevelopment Starship, a fully reusable ship which will be able to land on Mars, refuel using the planet's resources, and either fly home or venture out further. If successful, SpaceX would establish a million strong city on the Red Planet by 2050 which is potentially the first step to fully terraforming the planet. Musk said that the goal of his Starship transportation system to Mars will be to launch each of SpaceX's reusable Starship rockets about three times per day, on average, while carrying a 100-ton payload on each flight, with roughly 1,000 flights per year carrying more than 100 tons of cargo on each flight. At that rate, Musk theorizes each Starship rocket would make roughly 1,000 flights per year, launching a total of 100,000 tons of cargo into orbit. So to achieve this impossible task, Musk's dream can get some help from the recent volcanic eruption near Tonga that unleashed explosive forces that undermine the power of the Hiroshima atomic bomb. The undersea eruption of the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai volcano was so powerful as it sent tsunami waves across the Pacific Ocean and was heard some 2,300 kilometers away in New Zealand thousands of homes were destroyed during this eruption. Locals and survivors have described how the devastating Pacific blast messed up their brains. In the aftermath of this catastrophe, many parts of the nation were covered in ashes, and communications with other countries was cut because the undersea lines were damaged. With a great loss of life and nothing to eat or drink, the Pacific nation has been asking other countries like Australia, New Zealand, and India for some aid and they in return have come forward to help as even drinking water was scarce. The Prime Minister of New Zealand even approached Elon Musk on this matter to urgently help Tonga restore its internet connection after the volcanic eruption severed communications. Dr. Shane Reddy wrote a letter to Elon Musk asking for help to provide his Starlink satellite technology to the Pacific country. He wrote, I am respectfully asking if you could see your way, please, to providing urgent Starlink internet communications to public officials and the good people of Tonga in this moment of need. In response to this letter, Musk offered to assist Tonga, asking on Twitter whether Tonga authorities could inform him whether Starlink terminals were needed. However, he also mentioned that it would be a difficult task. Musk stated, This is a hard thing for us to do right now. 
as we don't have enough satellites with laser links, and there are already geosatellites that serve the Tonga region. That is why I'm asking for a clear confirmation. This terrifying incident have alerted humans everywhere, and scientists are probing the eruption activities to learn and prepare humankind for such occurrences in the future with advancements in technology. According to geologists, such catastrophes will further increase on Earth in the near future, and the Tonga volcanic eruption is just the beginning of possible global extinction. Therefore, scientists believe that this volcano could offer valuable clues about the formation of other planets like Mars and Venus, as it offers researchers a rare chance to study how water and lava interact. This is where Elon Musk's dream of colonizing Mars comes in, as he wants to build a city on Mars with the help of his SpaceX rockets. But is Mars really suitable for humans? We are going to discuss that next, so make sure you stick with us until the end of the video. According to a recent research, evidence of what may be the youngest eruption seen yet on Mars suggests that the red planet may still be volcanically active, which has raised the possibility that it was recently habitable. Most volcanism on Mars occurred between 3 billion and 4 billion years ago leaving behind giant monuments such as Olympus Mons, the tallest mountain in the solar system. Now, scientists have found evidence that Mars may still be volcanically active, with signs of an eruption within the past 50,000 years or so. Consequently, eruptions on Mars are less frequent than on Earth, but are of enormous scale and eruptive rate when they do occur. Scientists have never recorded an active volcano eruption on the surface of Mars, Moreover, searches for thermal signatures and surface changes within the last decade have not yielded any positive evidence for active volcanism. These new findings raise the possibility that the warmth from recent volcanic activity could have made the red planet more habitable to life as we know it. According to researchers, magma rising from the deep underground could have melted ice near the surface, which could have provided favorable conditions for microbial life fairly recently. Now, considering these scientific theories, we have come to know that Mars can be habitable for humans, but another question which comes to mind is that how will Elon Musk make Mars habitable? Well, the CEO has some ideas for that. At SpaceX's headquarters, the company has two images that show a before and after of a terraformed Mars. According to the research, the current surface temperature on Mars is an average of minus 63 degrees Celsius, or minus 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Musk's idea is to heat up the planet's poles to release stores of frozen carbon dioxide. This would use a series of continuous low fallout nuclear fusion explosions to act as artificial suns. The idea would be to use the carbon dioxide stores to create a more hospitable atmosphere. Humans could then walk around the planet using just a breathing apparatus. So all of this appears to be a big dream, but after the recent calamities hitting the Earth, it has become a necessity to think about other planets and stars which can be made habitable. Elon Musk and many others believe that Earth is going to be destroyed sometime near in the future. So, in order to survive, humanity needs more places to rise and thrive. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Do you think Musk is getting closer to colonizing Mars? How do you think he will build his futuristic city on Mars? Share with us in the comments below. And thank you for watching.